Okay, so I want everyone to warm up just by trying to shake everything out. Just think about relaxing your arms, your fingers, your trunk. Just going to get everything kind of a little bit loose, but really we're just trying to focus on getting into our body at the moment because most of us have probably been working this morning or taking the kids to school if they're lucky enough to be able to send them to school. Shake your head gently. Good. Think about your toes and your feet. Just give them a little bit of a shake. Good. It's going to loosen our trunk up. Good. I'm going to try and admit everyone else that's coming in. So just trying to relax, smile a little bit. Think about Pilates as something that's fun and hopefully not too daunting for anybody. All right. Okay, now we're going to go into the basics of breathing. So I want to take a couple of deep breaths in and we're going to try and bring breathe low down into our ribs. So place your hands on your ribs here. Try and take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Letting those ribs expand as much as possible and then breathing out through your mouth. Good. Two more of these. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Good. And out through your mouth. Good, and let's just do one more. Deep breath in. And out. Now, if your nose is blocked, just breathe in and out through your mouth. Good. Excellent. All right, so today's class, we'll be looking at the basics of Pilates as well as some posture tips so that you can walk away feeling kind of nice and loose, a little bit stronger, but also with better posture, which is, as we know, is really important for our health, our mood, makes us look and feel better, basically. So let's think about this area here, which is really crucial for our core strength to protect our back, but also for our posture. So we want to imagine that we've got a letter T drawn on our pelvis. And this is going to be our T zone, and I'll keep reminding you of that. So the, the top of the T is going to go from hip bone to hip bone. So just place your fingers just there. And what I want you to do is just pull that line in. So you're gently pulling your belly button in towards your spine, about one centimetre in. Then I want you to think about the vertical part of your T, which is going to go pelvic floor up. You want to gently pull that up, imagining that you're stopping yourself from going to the toilet, but it's a very gentle contraction. So the T will be this line here pulling in and this line here pulling up. And that's going to activate our deep inner core muscles. And you should feel a little bit of tension around your fingers here. Um, while you um, pull that in. So that means that these muscles here, which is the deep abdominals, the transverse abdominus, will be activated. Can everyone feel that? I hope so. I've actually muted you guys. Uh, well, actually, maybe I haven't. Hang on. Mute all. I think I have now. Um, continue. Okay, so everyone feel, hopefully, give me a thumbs up if you feel a little bit of tension there. Good. Excellent. All right, so that's a cue for our posture. Now, if this is nice and strong, we'll be able to sit up nice and straight through that core area, our lower back. And I always think that's the foundation for our posture. So really think about pulling up and then pull that T-zone on gently. Uh, our spine should be not flattened and not curved too far. So we should have a gentle arch in our lower back and this area should be activated. Now, we can't obviously keep that on constantly throughout the day. But if we can do that every now and then, particularly if we're bending to clean or to pick up something the kids dropped or something like that, we can always think about this area working a little bit to protect our lower back. And then with our posture, we need to go up to our head position and think about pulling up. Imagine someone's pulling you up from the top of your head and that's going to create a nice spinal alignment. And the third part will be our shoulders. Now, if our shoulders are back too far, that's actually going to be too, um, too much of a strain on the body. So we want to think about our shoulders being in line with our ears. So if we look at the side when we look into the mirror, we'll be able to see whether our head is too far forward or whether it's too far back. But most of the time it's too far forward because we're on our computers or we're looking at our phones. So think about that. Have a look in the mirror one day when you're um, brushing your teeth or something like that and just think, is my head too far forward or is it in line with my body? So that should be our third part. So we're thinking about our core. We're thinking about someone pulling up from the top of our head, and we're going to think about our shoulders. Are they too far forward or too far back? Good. All right, so that's kind of some basics, and we'll go back to the end and remind you about your posture. But now let's work our core a little bit more. Then we'll work our back for our back strength, 
and then we'll finish off with a little bit of flexibility as well because if we're really tight in our spine we won't be able to sit up straight either okay so let's line our back hopefully you've got somewhere comfortable that you can lie good now we're going to bring our hands behind our back our elbows nice and wide and we're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and as we breathe out, we're going to curl up, thinking about flattening the T-zone. So this tummy part is going to flatten. I'm going to breathe in as we lower down, and then breathe out as we come up. Good. Breathe in as we lower down. Breathe out as we come up. Now, our knees should be about shoulder width apart, so they're not too close together. Good. So really thinking about not pulling our head up too much. So we're resting our head on our hands and our tummy, our T-zone is flattening. If you can see your tummy's um, curving up, that means we're not working our deep abdominals. Good. How's everyone going with that? Good. Okay, now if you're a beginner and you're feeling like this is a bit too strenuous, just do a couple more. Everyone else, we're going to try and do 10 more. Really thinking about flattening the tummy. Don't forget about your pelvic floor. Good. Good, let's try for three more. Good, last one. Good, and just bring your knees into your chest for a nice lower back stretch. Just want you to do some circles with your knees. Just keep going. I'm just going to try and bring someone in who's in the waiting room. As you probably gather, I haven't done a lot of these, um, these sessions, so I'm not really sure how it works. But anyway, keep going <laughs> with your stretch. Good. Excellent. All right, so bring those knees down. And now we're going to go into our... Um, we're going to do an hour, uh, let's see, pendulum. So what I want you to do is bring your knees up to 90 degrees. That's it. Now you shouldn't arch your back too much. You can gently try and flatten it against the floor. Arms should be down by the sides. Shoulder blades are down and relax. We're going to breathe in as we gently bring our knees over to one side, about 45 degrees. Breathe out as we tuck our tummy in and bring the knees back to the center. Breathe in as we go to the opposite side. Breathe out as we come back to the center. Good. Breathe in as we go to the other side. Breathe out as we tuck in. Thinking about that T-zone. Now, if you're finding this a little bit too much stress, a strain on your back, you can bring your feet down onto the floor and you can do a modified version. Or you can just come down a little bit each side and not so far with your knees. So this is working our core, but particularly our oblique muscles, which are the muscles on the side of our abdominal area. So it's very good for our core strength. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Good. So continue with this exercise. So I'm just going to let someone else in that's trying to get into the room. <laughs> going, guys. We've only got about six more to go. It's really great that people have decided to spend at least half an hour on a Tuesday doing some Pilates. It's really going to help you, hopefully, for the rest of the week. Good. Okay. So let's try and do one more each side. Good. Now lowering one leg down then the opposite leg. Good. Okay, so we're just only going to do one more abdominal exercise for now, and then we'll see how much time we have at the end. Now for this one, we're going to bring our knees back up to 90 degrees. We our head and shoulders up. We're going to grab onto one knee. We're going to breathe out as we extend the opposite knee. Breathe in as we come and swap over. Now if you're having trouble, don't go as far down with the leg. Just really try and do this very slowly and methodically and thinking about flattening that tummy and also remembering to keep our core on and our T-zone on 
and particularly our pelvic floor as well. Don't forget about that. Good. If you feel that your abdominals are starting to let go a little bit, have a break, particularly if you haven't done Pilates before. Everyone else will try and do six more. Two more. Excellent job, everyone. And now bring the knees into the chest again. And I just want you to gently roll your head and neck from side to side, just so that you're not putting too much tension in your neck as you do that. Excellent job. All right, so let's work our back because if our back muscles, particularly around the mid back, are not functioning well, they're going to create this sort of position. So let's go on to our stomachs. Now bring your hands down by your sides and your palms should be facing down flat. Good. Your head should be down, thinking about your core on and your feet should also be flat. So you're not lifting your feet up, they've got to stay flat. So take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, just lift your upper back up off the floor and try and bring your shoulder blades down and gently squeeze them together. Breathe in as you lower down. Breathe out as you come up. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good work, everybody. See some nice little ones there doing some training as well. It's a good thing about Pilates. It is good for kids, particularly if it's beginner Pilates. Now, initially, it's a small move and it may seem actually quite hard to do, but once your muscles get the hang of it, and that's the best thing about Pilates, it's actually just about training your muscles to kind of work the right way. Let's try for six more. Good, two more. Excellent job, guys. Last one. Good. All right. So let's come on to our side. I just want everyone to do a nice mid back stretch before we do another back exercise. So knees should be about 45 degrees, hands behind the head, elbows together. It's like there's a piece of cake, a little bit of piece of cake on the floor, which I didn't notice before. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to lift that top elbow as far back as we can. Hopefully there's no couch or coffee table behind you. And you should feel just a nice gentle stretch in your mid back. Really nice, particularly if you have been Spending a few hours this morning in front of a computer. And you don't want to go too far back where you feel any strain in your lower back or anywhere. Just be feeling a gentle stretch in your spine. Good, and we'll just do two more. This is one of my favourite stretches. You guys probably can see why. It's really nice. It's, it's a nice movement. Good, and last one we'll just hold for a couple more seconds. Good, and coming down. Excellent. All right, let's go to the other side and we'll just even everything up. You'll probably find one, one side is a little bit more comfortable than the other. So hands behind the head, relaxing the head down onto the shoulders and we're just opening the top elbow up as wide as we can. Good job, everyone.
last one just for a few more seconds. Excellent. Okay, so let's do another back exercise. I want everybody to come onto all fours. If you do have a knee issue, you can place a pillow or something underneath the knee, particularly if you are on a hard floor. So make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are in a line and your knees and your hips. So you can probably see your camera and just make sure you correct that. Good. Now, it shouldn't be too arched this way and you shouldn't be too flat that way. We're going to go halfway between and just have a comfortable arch in the lower back. And we're going to take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, just stick standing opposite arm, opposite leg. Now, only to where you feel like everything's almost parallel and your back shouldn't be shaking. So you should try and make sure you pull your core on and your back is going to sort of remain as still as possible. So that's why we're not going to lift very high. Now come back down and we're going to try and do the other side very slowly and carefully. Have a look at the mirror and just make sure you're not twisting your pelvis. Try and keep everything as still as possible. Come back to the centre and we're swapping over. If you've got a couch in the way like I do, you can either use it to help you, joking, or you can try and move away. So then when you kick out, you have a little bit more space. Good. So this is a very good core stability exercise, but also good for our posture. Good. Okay, now we're trying to do four more. Good, and one more. Excellent job, guys. Okay, let's do a nice cat stretch. So just try and tuck everything underneath. Good, and now gently extending and looking up. Now coming into a neutral position, so halfway between those two stretches, I just want you to try and bring your shoulder towards your hip, imagining that you're a cat and you're trying to look at your tail. Does that make sense, hopefully? And coming to the other side. So you're trying to bring your opposite shoulder to the hip, come back to the centre. So creating a C shape with your spine. Good. Nice, let's do one more each side. Good, excellent job guys. All right, let's go into a nice hip flexor stretch. So bring one leg up. Now grab onto this hip and straighten it up and then gently pull the hip forward like that. Hold that there. If you want more of a stretch, you can lift this arm up and across. Should feel a nice stretch here. Particularly good. Just continue with that. I'm just going to bring someone else into the room again. It's quite late, but anyway, better late than never. So pushing that hip forward. Particularly good if you're sitting all day, your hip flexors are going to get really tight through here. So it's really nice to do this if you do have a chance at home. You can place something under your knee for a little bit of extra support if you need it. Good, let's swap over. Good, push that hip forward, bring the arm up and across. You can see people putting something under their knee, which is excellent. Good. Okay. Now everyone's gotten through things a lot faster than I thought. So we're going to go back and just do a couple of those ab exercises again. And then we're going to do our posture cues to finish with. So let's come onto our back again. 
And if you feel like that was quite easy, I'm going to bring our knees again up to 90 degrees. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Now take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to curl and twist to bring the outside of the hand to the outside of the knee. Now if you're a beginner, you can bring your feet down flat on the floor. Now breathe in as we come back to the centre. Breathe out as we twist to the opposite side. Good. Breathe in as we come back down. Breathe out as we twist. Good. Now trying for eight of these. Good, just two more. Good, last one. Good, and gently come down. And now we're going to bring one knee in and we're going to bring the other leg out, lifting the head and shoulders up, breathing out as we extend, breathe in as we straighten. Sorry, the opposite. So breathing out as we extend, breathe in as we flex. Bring the hands behind the head if you can. If not, you can continue doing exactly what we were doing and just holding the knee. Good job, everyone. Should feel those abs burning a little bit now. Okay, let's try for two more. Flattening the tummy. Don't forget about the core. Okay, good. All right, lowering down from the knees into the chest and just gently rotate the head from side to side. Now there is one muscle that we've forgotten about, which is our buttock muscle, which isn't primarily to do with our posture, but I'm going to do a little bit now just because otherwise I think it'll feel a little bit neglected. So hands down by the sides, and actually this exercise is also good for mobilizing the spine, so we may as well do this to finish off with. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, squeezing your glutes and slowly curling up one vertebra at a time. Nice pelvic curl. Take a nice deep breath in at the top. Breathe out as we slowly curl down one vertebra at a time. Good. Breathing in at the bottom. Breathe out and curl up. Squeeze the glutes first, then the hamstrings. Good. Take another deep breath in at the top. Breathe out as we slowly curl down. Good. Take another deep breath in. Breathing out, curling up. Now once we get to the top this time, we're going to squeeze our knees together and then separate. So squeezing, separating. Breathing wise, I don't mind what you do, just don't forget to breathe so you don't faint. But um, basically we're working our inner thighs and also our glutes a little bit harder by holding up. Good. Four more. Excellent. Now slowly lowering down. We'll do another version of that slightly different. So we're taking a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're slowly curling up again. This time we're going to try and straighten um, one leg, but we're going to try and really contract the right glute and gently try and straighten the other leg up towards the floor. Good. Coming down and swapping over. Good. Okay, so apparently I'm running out of time, but I don't know how much time is going to be left. So while I'm doing this, I'm just going to thank Wayne from Health Space for organising it and being so organised and making sure that the password was correct at the last minute. Also Maggie from Health Space as well. So Wayne from Vision, I really appreciate you organising this. And Maggie, if anyone has any questions, they can go to my Instagram, which is Fleur Cairo, F L E U R. C-H-I-R-O and ask me. Just in case we are cut off, let's try one more each side. Good, and slowly curling down. Okay, let's sit up and we'll just talk a little bit about our core and also what we've done today. Now I'll try and bring one leg across like that so we're getting a little bit of a stretch while we chat. And we're also gonna stretch our neck at the same time. I like to do a few things at once if we don't have a lot of time. So today we've been working our core a little bit, we've worked our back muscles and we've also looked at what's important for our posture, 
which is our head position. So imagine someone pulling you up from the top of your head. Pull yourself up from the waist with your core on. Make sure your lower back is not too flat, it's not too arched, it's neutral. And then your shoulders should be in line with your ears. So have a look in the mirror and make sure that your ears aren't too far forward or back. And there are your three main cues for your posture. So when you're doing your exercises or just walking around, just try and think about it. Don't exaggerate it, but if you can think about it every now and then, it will definitely help change the bad patterns that we've all gotten into. Now looking over at your hip, just to stretch out this muscle a little bit more. Good. And now we're going to go to the other side. So we'll bring the other knee up. If you do have trouble sitting in a cross-legged position, you can put a pillow under your knees, I mean under your glutes. So swapping over. Good. And now looking over at your hip. just uncross the legs so either legs straight out, out in front if this is too uncomfortable and we'll just do a nice gentle side bend stretch good job guys and now the opposite it's good to see a few people in the room each room bring their partner or their child or someone as well making them do it is always good hopefully they won't um Tell you off later, I'm no, just joking. Good, and just bring your arms up and just push our chest forward gently. Feel a nice gentle stretch in the front of our chest and our neck. Good. Okay, now just try and shake it all out. Hopefully you'll feel nice and relaxed and a little bit more um, centered and, and your posture looking a little bit better today you might even grow in like a centimeter um, it's great to meet everyone and hopefully we'll see you again at some stage maybe in another video or another session thanks for coming